No strong cards, no gold king. Shan't be entering, old. shall we? Do we not know the rules? But I've coin a plenty. Then I suggest you return to better cards. Is there a and land buy some more suitable attire. Chew! Chew! Yes? How do you play for high stakes here? Firstly, we must have the proper effects. Let's have a look at our cards, shall we? Cards are in order, but can we afford the buy-in? We can. Well, let's have a name then, and we shall issue an entry ticket. Geralt of Rivia. Gerard of Rivia. The match will start soon, but the Hoi Polloi must first be driven out. We will please wait. Achoo! Tournament participants only. Everyone else out. Achoo! We are cordially invited to come back tomorrow. Well, well. Geralt of Rivia. And I was beginning to think this tournament would be a dreadful bore. I'm afraid winning coin from peasants, thugs, and faux aristocrats is no great source of satisfaction for me. We know each other. Let's say we've some mutual acquaintances. I've heard many good things about you. In vivid detail. A place like this, that's more a warning than a recommendation. What's your name? Sasha. Sasha what? Or maybe just skip right to telling me your real name. A place like this, Sasha will need to suffice. Come to the Passiflora often? Seem to know everyone. I'm here from time to time. I cannot say all the faces are familiar, but... That is Patrick Hazelnut. Never goes anywhere without those three. By the man once who traveled with two Zeracanian warrior women as bodyguards, but those three... Have other talents, clearly. The halfling's Bernard Tully, a farmer, claims to play for pleasure. But everyone wants to win, don't they? Best beware of that one. He's not particularly fond of... others, outcasts, types like you. Ironic, since Phineas himself is a half-elf. And I'm certain you've heard of Count Tybalt. After all, he is the one who organized this tournament. Actually, I haven't heard of him. He's reputed to be fabulously wealthy. I can't say how true it is, but he was able to afford his title and the county that came with it. All right. See you later, Sasha. Try to chat up the other players before the tournament begins. We must all wait for Count Tybalt anyway. What? Playing tournaments often? What are to you? Perhaps you'd wish to see my cards as well. Am I a hee-haw for you to fondle before you choose? Shall I wag my prick for you? See your cards when we play. You're unlikely to advance that far, Newton. Fancy a hop back to my place? I'm new to this too. It took me ages to squirrel away the coin for the buy-in. Mushrooms are no quick route to riches. <laughs> are you really a farmer? Why not look it? Got a little farmstead just outside the city. Could sit there for days just watching things grow. What's with the smell? The smell? Anywho, mushrooms are all well and good, but one's got to get away at times. My lady, she was in tears, said I'd get my throat slit in the overground. But I says to her, I says, Hortensia, what a chance. The best players, the rarest cards. She had to let me go. Good luck to you. Likewise. Now, that's the sporting spirit. Not like that half-elf over there who's been shooting me murderous glares this whole time. <laughs>
Apologies, but I must focus my thoughts before the match. <laughs> I can see that. This will certainly serve me better than your conversation with Sasha has served you. I'd be wary of her. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to our closed Gwent tournament. By closed, I mean more than the mere elite nature of the event. Anyone leaving the Passiflora before the end of play will be disqualified. That's rule number one. Rules number two, three, and four are no fighting, dirty play, or magic tricks. We play for golden figurines. The winner will take them all, along with a monetary prize equal to nine times the buy. -in. Easy enough to calculate that nine have entered. The tournament will consist of three rounds. The finalist emerging from said shall play me. Players will be paired by random draw. The groupings for the first round shall be read now. Achoo! Phidias and Tim Knott. Patrick Hazelnut and Harold Featherbuns. Gervolt of Rivia and Bernard Tull. Ah, how about that? Bramble Frontenstock and Chuh! Madam Sasha. Excellent. A pleasant match to you all. Race, what style? Starting at last. A year down the road, I'll be plying Hortensia and my lads with tales of this night. Let's play!
Congratulations. Bit of a shame being eliminated in the first round, but so it goes. It is only a game. Having a good time, that's what matters. So, how did you fare in the first round? Not bad. Guessing you won too. I've the distinct impression my opponent was drunk. Had an altogether decent hand, but... Might have had a hard time concentrating. Hmm. Care to finish this conversation in private? I have a proposition for you. Meet on the terrace upstairs. All right. <laughs> you a vulgar one. I can see it in your face. Alone, at last. What did you want to talk about? A cartload of coin. That's the grand prize, you know. I can't speak for you, but I'd prefer it didn't land in the wrong hands. And luck can be so undependable. Frankly, one should simply take the coin, subtly, you know, without bothering the others. Huh. As propositions go, this is not exactly what I was expecting. You don't seem like a... Thief? True, it's not my day job. Which is why I could use some help. Why tell me? I'm a woman. I'm in need of that coin. And Geralt of Rivia would never abandon a woman in need. Or so I heard. Who'd you hear it from? Fringilla Vigo. She told me of your adventures in Beauclair. Apparently you're dependable. So long as the cause is just. Doesn't seem like a just cause to me. What if I told you my life depended on it? Hmm. That changes things. Fine. Let's say I help you. I'll split the coin with you, of course. Split? What if I win the tournament? I shall have another proposition for you then. What's the plan? I shall tell you all when the time is right. For now, just stay alert. And if you are eliminated, stay till the tournament's end. It'll be worth your while. You'll see. All sounds pretty mysterious, but fine. Excellent. Now that's settled, let's rejoin the others. for round two. Your attention, please. Madam Sasha and Gilbert of Revia. Phineas and Harold Featherbuns. <laughs> we wish you a pleasant match. May fortune smile on you always. <laughs> 